Hey guys, this is a quick video just to show you where I think uh, the euro has support and resistance. Uh, let's get right into it. This is the uh, daily chart of the low of the 2000 and this is the uh, high on 2001. So what I did, I took just the first impulse and uh, wave and just did a box of it and did the uh, one by one angle and pretty much worked my way down and this is the uh, four by one angle. Let me delete this right here. And what you do is you go all the way out and pretty much this is one level I see as resistance that 3513 level I think the uh, euro is gonna have a tough time it could bounce up It's already having a tough time here but I'm gonna show you why I think this level right here is pretty strong but if it does it'll continue to go up 3513 is a level to watch the next chart I wanna show you is the uh, 724 low and what I do is, is pretty much I do uh, impulse uh, boxes. This is the first impulse, and then it just turned out. So I do a measured move from here and do Fibonacci, and it takes me all the way to the top. And it's pretty much the 400% uh, uh, measured move, and that support should be 3434. So that's the number you should dock, jog down. You see it piercing, and now it's still above it. And resistance is 3515, 423.6%. Uh, Fibonacci level. The next one I want to show you is I'm going fast on this because I really don't have time in these videos, only 10 minutes. The high of uh, August 6, and that will be over here. So I did the same thing, boxed it in my one by one angle, all uh, price and time, and the possible target, and it's going to have resistance, probably going to be at the one by one of this 3509. So that's another level you should watch just in case it decides to break. 3478 it's probably gonna have some tough time around here the next price you should watch is the uh, high of 914 and that one is the impulse wave all the way up to here which is 914 so then you just box all that price and time this is the one by one angle and if you see a measured move from the daily uh, candle which is this one I picked it takes me all the way to 1100 percent so that's 3454 level and resistance would be the Fibonacci level of 27 127.2 or 1.272 so you see that's uh, 3474 uh, resistance and 3454 uh, support right now is 3445 so it's just kinda like dancing around in that level um, another uh, chart I want to show you is the uh, fib and time two year just want to let you know that this is uh, daily and this is from the low of 2010 and the high of 2011 pretty much I just want to show you support just in case you want to short this just make sure you uh, check this level out 33407 that's the 50% so you gotta keep an eye on that level trail your stop and then uh, it might just probably bounce right up and make another leg up or I could just kinda dance around here and just crack down so this is another key level you need to watch to 50% uh, also I want to show you and this is the chart I wanted to really show you is the uh, fifth uh, in time 20 year uh, this is a monthly chart and this goes way back to 2000 and that's the low and as the high is from 2008 so pretty much what you see is yeah, there's a big angle here which is the uh, one by one fan and this is not what I really wanted to show you but it's, it's in this chart I'm gonna hide all this and I'm gonna show you the Andrews pitchfork look at that you take the high take the swing low and the swing high and put the Andrews pitchfork and look at the resistance right here this monthly candle the high is 3478 and this is what you really want to watch what's this thing gonna do is it gonna just fall right back down bounce here and keep going here and then just crack down I don't know or would it just pop and just play this channel going up and down and, and bouncing off here and just going bullish all the way uh, it's up to you to decide and uh, what the price action does but it could just crack here crack here and then play all this to the downside so remember that 3478 that's key resistance and that's why I think the euro's in trouble right now um, another chart I want to show you is a four year which is probably another resistant and it's the uh, 38.2 uh, 
Fibonacci level and this is from the high of 2008 and the low of 2010 BAM right there it's having a tough time right there 3465 so there's a cluster of price there you need to watch and see uh, what this uh, euro is going to do now I'm going to show you what I call the big picture and it's pretty much uh, four charts and uh, this is how I pretty much look at what's going on the monthly the weekly the daily and the 12-hour uh, uh, chart which each candle is 12 hours pretty much what I see is like this is the super big picture I wish I had a yearly uh, chart uh, but I don't uh, this is the weekly and this is the daily and this is the uh, 12 hour so in my mind or my crazy mind uh, the daily is like a one hour chart for me and the uh, 12 hour is like a five minute chart for me so pretty much I do my entries on the 12 hour look at the daily and then look at the trend on the weekly and then the big picture on the monthly lots of resistance on the euro on the 50 uh, SMA on the monthly is at 35 20 you got the 100 up here 34 38 it's dancing around there uh, and uh, you have the 50 right here the 20 so everything is looking all bullish weekly uh, still bullish you got resistance up here at that 3525 that's the 200 and you got some other uh, moving averages this is a 356 moving average just like a year uh, this is the 500 so you're still above the 20 you got the 50 the team is green you got a cherry there so it's showing it's, it's a problem right there now at this price level you got a cluster of uh, uh, Fisher signals. I'll come. I'll come back to that later, so I can show you what I'm talking about. On a daily, still bullish. Still have a cherry indicating uh, problems here at this level. Uh, everything is up. Uh, CCI is in zoom mode, embedded. It hasn't even cracked the uh, 99 level or the, uh, the bar right there. Everything is just fissures are all up. Uh, MMG. Everything is just skyrocketing. Over here is just consolidating, going sideways on the 12-hour chart. Had signals here earlier. Now, look at that. It just popped up right now. Uh, but that's really nothing. Once you get a purple here, then that's when it probably goes down. But, you know, it could surprise you. Over here, we had a squeeze play on the uh, 22nd. And it was just going, boom, and it just shot up. And this is the level, 3478. This is the one you got to remember because that is the Andrews pitchfork on the monthly resistance. So... This is where you got to see what's going to happen. If it starts cracking the 20, the 50, and just starts going down, um, you're going to see it just playing out through all the other charts daily, just slowly. So, you know, we shall see. This is what I wanted to show you. Um, I mean, if you want to scalp it, that's fine, but I wouldn't, like, go hardcore shorting it. Not yet. This is where I see the Fisher clusters right here. We have a couple of them. And if you see uh, how it plays out when you do the Fisher clusters, uh, let's see. Look at this high right here. Look how all the clusters came in. And you had a, a bunch of soap cells. You had one, two, and it kept going up, three. And Tima kept you in green, showing you that you're still in the trend. And uh, and this last one, this Fisher cell, boom. And then this, the 50 cc. I cracked that 99 level and then Tima boom triggered that's it the trend is over cracked the 20 and it just started going downhill so we pretty much kind of like around here I'm just waiting for this signal this one to just stay current not get a fissure up and just just ride the wave down mobile cracked and look at it just stood down but this one is another key too to uh, watch and uh, everything just starts going down and once you get these this is just going down the wave turned over negative so it's still positive well we don't know where it's at. We're looking at current. It's still all it's all positive. There was a squeeze play right here on the 14th, and then it shot up. So look at all the resistance you have ahead over the euro. So that's uh, pretty much my thought. Um, the dollar is uh, due to pop too. Uh, there was a cycle, and uh, it's just still consolidating, just going sideways. But those are my thoughts on the euro. Nothing's written in stone until it happens. So just want to leave you with my thoughts on what I see in the charts and the uh, resistance there. So I hope you enjoy it.
and uh, I'll keep posting more stuff as they come in. Thanks.